the anger I was showing her, it was almost like I'm really directing this at myself. So I didn't really see her. I was right. seeing but, myself. But then the reality is that, that we have, you know, as, as a mom or as a parent, you know, we, we have to help her out in her esteem because what's to prevent her getting married, a little bit pregnant? But what I'm trying to say, too, is as I highly recommend this. Is, is that you, you, you seek counseling I and get counseling, counseling right and, and as soon as you can, just hunker down and throw up in a psychological sense all over this counselor. And as you're going to purge mm -hmm. all this stuff, oh, my God, I forgot about that. That happened 20, 30 years ago. This might lead you down the path of why you're reacting the way you are, because I want to make sure you stop it. And then she knows that this is not going to happen to her. So she may, you know, you may want to let Miss Earn to, to get some counseling. So when you have babies or relationships, because you, know, you end up trust. repeating unless 90, you work very there's hard. Over 96%. If I abuse 100 people, beat them up, say bad things, there's a 96% chance you all will grow up and do this to your children. So it's multi-level marketing for psychos in a sense. So well, my I, main concern is, you know, we can cry mm -hmm. and say, okay, I'm sorry, but I, I would really like action on this. Well, after the fight we had in September, that's when it finally I realized yeah. and sometimes things I needed need to come counseling. To Sure. And so only after September. You just started yeah, counseling. Yeah. Because when uh, they were very young, I didn't really think I had a problem. I thought mm -hmm. my abusive past was in the past. Right. And it wasn't going to come back to haunt me. You carry it with you. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's part of your dynamic forever. But it forever. took all these years to finally realize I need, now is the time. Right. I, but, but then, I like I'm saying, too, it, we got to gain trust first so I wouldn't push so hard so fast in this relationship and like I said those small little things like I, I, I date Miss Winfrey the small flowers the cards over time <clears throat> adds up to trust it starts now the relationship mom daughter we love each other now. it starts now. now we don't know, need to go back in the past all that much we need to start it now this is almost like dating you kind of know each other but you don't know each other you're going to build in that relationship but was your mother just I mean I said your mother was crazy was yeah. she schizophrenic was she was, was well, she when, when I interviewed her she, I, I discovered she was an MPD multiple personality disorder she and, I, not. and not which would give her an excuse and I also realized too the alcohol did not suppress the memory because when the first thing she said was when I stabbed it it was an accident and that was trying to tell me out of all the things she did to me this might have been the worst thing she thought she did to me which means if I forgive her for this you know that cascading effect and I just thought right there oh my gosh and I'm saying this as gently as possible it, when she said that that made her more diabolical because she was always in that much control at least, you know, she thought she was, rather than, you know, passing out from the alcoholism or maybe going into a different personality. But she was, uh, she was the scariest, I, I think she was definitely, you know, schizo. But I'm, I'm trying to, I'm not trying to, I know it sounds weird. I'm, I'm, I'm walking a fine line. I'm not trying to slam her, but I'm just trying to say it as it is. You can slam her. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's weird because I, I'm, I'm a parent. And, 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 and I, I don't think I can be alive today if I was the father of the, the, those, those two boys from Columbine or we see in the news mm -hmm. the, the lady from Texas and people making abuse excuse here and there. But you know what? She, just, she was a lady who, she, there wasn't Oprah Winfrey back then. There wasn't, women didn't have rights in the 1930s in Salt Lake City, Utah when my grandparents divorced and my grandma was ostracized from the community. I mean, so there's a lot of pressures back then. And it was always this, it's, I've always found out it's not the one thing that makes people trip. It's always a series of small things. And my mom just hated her mom. My mom started drinking to escape her problems. My mom acted tough. And after so many years, she forgot why she was acting or reacting this way. Mm -hmm. She never had it. She was programmed psychologically to fail.